In 2019, following in the footsteps of the original Yamaha Genos workstation, Yamaha launched the PSR SX900, which many people called the Mini Genos, because it contained many of the Genos functions and features, but in a more compact, portable package. The price was considerably less too. In 2023, Yamaha launched their long-awaited Genos 2 Arranger workstation. And this model has taken the keyboard world by storm with its cutting edge technology and its superbly user-friendly touchscreen operating system. So we had the Mini Genos 1, and now we've got the Mini Genos 2. That's right, Yamaha's PSR SX series now joins the Genos 2 era with the PSR SX920. So today we're going to focus on the ways the SX920 has been heavily upgraded from its predecessor, SX900, to join the keyboard revolution that the Genos 2 has brought the world. And if you'd like to see detailed review and demonstration videos of the SX series keyboards, have a look on our YouTube channel or indeed epianos.co.uk forward slash TV for exclusive videos made by ourselves on our website. So let's get going. Firstly, I need to say that the voices on the new SX920 have received a total overhaul and they've had a rocket boost. Again, following closely in the footsteps of the Genos 2, the PSR SX920 has preloaded the professional quality Super Articulation 2 voices. We're talking about instruments here which are highly realistic and full of nuance and dynamic articulations. In short, they sound more like the real thing than ever before. There are 250 more voices on SX920 than its predecessor, the SX900, but it's not all about quantity. It's of course about quality. And with the added Genos 2 inspired Super Articulation 2 technology present in the voices, you'll feel like you're playing a keyboard that ranks among the best keyboards in the world. it gets better than that because rather like how the SX900 actually built upon what Genos 1 brought us, SX920 has built upon what Genos 2 has brought us with a new type of voice called Super Articulation Plus. With Super Articulation Plus, a selection of voices have been chosen by Yamaha for upgrading into pro quality with two articulation controls, which very handily you can manipulate and trigger using the uh, two articulation buttons on the left hand side of the keyboard's panel or indeed foot pedals as well. So as you can see, um, the overhaul and the upgrade to the voice selection alone on SX920 uh, really does raise it up into the echelons of the Yamaha Genos type arranger keyboard, or something of that quality, but of course in a more compact chassis and considerably lower cost as well. What's even better is that many of these new voices are featured in the makeup of the new styles on SX920, of which there are over 100 more than, it than we saw in its predecessor, SX900. And as you'd expect, once again, there's a heavy influx of styles from the Genos 2. 
even your existing favourite styles, if you play SX900 or Genos, will sound refreshed and as real as ever because the SX920 utilises all of these new voices uh, within the styles themselves. So everything is going to sound fresh and new even if you're using old styles. Speaking of making things sound uh, more real, another very clever feature from Genos 2 has made it over onto SX920 and that is the style dynamics. Now what does style dynamics mean? Um, well, it's a way to conduct your accompanying band better essentially. Um, it's like in real life when you're performing with a group being able to turn around to the band and say, okay guys, just bring it down a little bit, shush everybody because you know, you've got an announcement to make or something like that. Equally, you might turn around in the band and say, come on, let's give it a bit of extra welly this time. That's what Style Dynamics is going to bring to this keyboard. <music> You can control your band's dynamics with one of the knobs on the front panel, making it easy to shush things down mid-performance um, and say, thank you, you've been a great audience, don't forget to tip your waitress. Um, or you can wind it up to the maximum if you're doing a, a third round of choruses on Hey Jude or something like that and the audience is starting to sing along, you can crank the style dynamics up and it feels like the band is suddenly playing with much more energy and everything gets a great lift. On SX920, great lengths have been gone to to make sure you've got the tools to make your performance and indeed your keyboard sound unique. One way that you can differentiate um, your own accompaniment styles on this keyboard from other people who own the same model or indeed similar models is by using something called style insertion effects. Style insertion effects is rather a fancy way of saying you can change the character of your accompaniment styles to make them sound exactly how you want to. And with the new style creator insertion effects, another fancy name, you can actually go into each element of the style, <clears throat> be it the drums, the guitar, the keyboards, the synths, the vocals, whatever, and you can add these insertion effects to each individual instrument. So if you wanted a particularly characteristic sounding Stratocaster guitar with loads of echo, you could go in and you can change that. Or if you wanted the bass to be drier, you could change that. But the long and short of it is, you can really add your own personal signature style to the accompaniment styles and the individual instruments. It's great for flexibility and making it sound unique to you. And used correctly and indeed after uh, no doubt hours and hours of very pleasurable fiddling as we like to do on these sorts of keyboards, you can really make your styles come alive and pop and sound quite different to how the preset ones do. And talking about flexibility, SX920 actually has double the amount of style insertion effects than we've seen on its predecessor, SX900. There are significant upgrades to the hardware as well on this keyboard. To start off with, the SX920 has double the expansion memory on board. So if you're saving loads of things to your keyboard, it'll be reassuring to know that there's now double the amount of room, I mean, plenty of room on these keyboard's built-in hard drive here. And if you like downloading expansion packs, um, then there's going to be plenty of room to keep those as well because they take up quite a bit of room, as you probably know. There are now two additional assignable buttons on the left-hand side near the joystick control. Indeed, the entire physical interface, um, the style control sections anyway, um, that's to say the buttons in other words, 
they've been lightened up to a, sort of a very pleasing light grey, which means in darker environments like playing live, um, or indeed in your studio or your man cave or whatever, the buttons are a little bit more easy to see. And that's in response to user feedback. And here's yet another way you can customize your keyboard's sounds with SX920. It's called Crossfade Portamento, uh, an even fancier name. Um, but in layman's terms, instruments that have a curve up to the note you're playing, for example, uh, a clarinet or a flute or a saxophone, something that goes like that, uh, to put it as simply as possible. Um, with this crossfade portamento, you can alter that. So imagine you're playing Stranger on the Shore, Ackerbilk's clarinet, and it's got that first note build up. Well, you can alter the speed with which it does that with crossfade portamento. It works with synth leads as well, where you can get a, a different type of curve or an, indeed an instant really fast curve. Again, just to ch change your voices slightly, save it, customize it, put your name on it, give it your own signature style, and again, differentiate yourself from the next person who owns this type of keyboard or any of these Yamaha voices. Again, it's putting more options in front of you, more colors in your palette to allow you to be more creative and make your own sounds. Yamaha are always quite mindful, actually, of their keyboard community's feedback. And we do see um, what seem like little changes, but are so practical from model to model. And on SX920, we've got some more. Um, first one is the ability to change the time signature of the accompaniment styles um, between the variations A, B, C, and D that you'll probably be familiar with if you've used this type of keyboard. So you could go from a 4-4 time um, with variation A to a 3-4 time variation B, whatever. What it's going to mean is it opens up all sorts of creative possibilities or to play that unusual song that has a funny time signature on it and do it between the main variation buttons that you know. The other thing is you now have the option to change between A, B, C, and D variation buttons, but have it happen instantly, the moment that you press that button, um, which again is a user feedback-based improvement, very good for keeping time with a live singer or a WAV recording that you might have, um, but again, giving you more control over your performance. The user interface on the touchscreen has actually been um, somewhat improved again for darker environments like the stage or studios, man caves, etc. The voice edit screen, as you'll see, is now mostly blue and black um, for contrast, so it's easier to see in those types of environments. In the excellent playlist section, where you can build your own, well, playlist, you now have the ability to sort your song titles in alphabetical order, a feature that's long requested by um, SX keyboard players. Uh, so well done Yamaha for adding that one. Here's one thing that will please organists who play with MIDI pedals with these keyboards. You can now save your MIDI settings in a registration, the keyboard's onboard registration. So no more having to load everything up manually each time you load the keyboard up. That, that's to say no more having to assign the channels each time you put your pedals in. It can now be saved in the registration memory. It's great for accordionists as well that play with MIDI accordions to do the same thing. Now giving a helping hand to lower skill players is something that the SX920 does very well. Um, it offers this great feature called Smart Chord. Now this is going to allow you to play with essentially just a single finger and utilize the backing bands in your chosen style um, and it'll use AI to essentially choose appropriate chords for you and you just have to prod away on the keyboard. The computer and the AI will do all the work for you. For example, if you wanted to play a jazz song or a pop song or any genre, you just load up the style, put the smart chord feature on and then essentially use a single digit to press various keys and the AI will do the work for you and the, the chords that are played will adjust. So even with very little keyboard playing skills, you could sit here, load up an accompaniment and have the keyboard basically make it sound like you've got a band in control of your one finger and it works really, really well.
Now I like this one, there is an emergency reset to normal button that you can now press on this keyboard. Um, load up the direct access button, press the uh, reset button and that essentially does what we call a soft reset. It'll put all the settings back to normal without deleting any of your important files. Do you ever press the demo button on these keyboards and think, oh, I didn't know my keyboard could actually sound that good or that it had that style or that voice. There's a really nice way now you can pause the demo um, and see what voices and styles are being used. Indeed, the voice being used will be loaded onto the keyboard. So you can play along if you're any good at uh, playing by ear with the demo as it goes along. So what an exciting new era this is gonna be for portable arranger keyboards. The PSR SX920 is here and it's joined the echelon of the Genos 2s. The mini Genos 2 is here. So there's loads more to explore on this keyboard. I hope you're gonna to subscribe to our YouTube channel here because we're gonna be producing loads of video content on it and have a look at epianos.co.uk forward slash TV for exclusive videos too. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.